The best confession of, I think, my entire life was in high school when I was bringing some really heavy stuff to the confessional for the first time ever. And the priest, he said when I came in, he had this image that for all of these years, I had been in this stream trying to clean myself. My soul was just filthy and dirty. And I was trying to just scrub all of that filth off by myself. And I couldn't do it. And it was like, the more I scrubbed, the worse it got. But when I came to the confessional and I received absolution, at that instant, all of it was gone. And I was wearing this beautiful white robe, just sitting in freedom and in happiness. And this image, this image is what I'm thinking of when I look at the readings today on Tuesday in the second week of Lent, that Jesus wants to set things right with us and give that gift to us every single time we hit the confessional. In the first reading, it says, come now, let us make things right. And that's an invitation to consider, well, what's not right, Lord? What do I have going on that I need you? that I need you to help me set things right, that I need you to purify me and cleanse me of whatever attachment to sin I have. And Jesus reminds us in the gospel that this is not something that we can do on our own. If we try to exalt ourselves, if we try to do it all on our own, we're going to be humbled. But, but if we lean into Jesus and we trust that we cannot do it on our own, just like that image of me being in that stream, trying to clean myself up, I couldn't do it on my own. I could only do it with Jesus and the grace of Jesus. And when we realize we can't do it on our own, that is when Jesus will exalt us in the kingdom of heaven. And so we have to keep our eyes on the prize this Lent and make things right with the Lord and let him be our savior. If you haven't made it to confession yet, I urge you, take whatever is not right and that invitation of God, come now, let us set things right and bring that to the feet of Jesus in the confessional. Let him be your savior and wash away whatever is weighing on your heart. When we humbly recognize that we cannot be self healers, any true healing only comes from God himself. When we recognize that, that's when we have true freedom and true happiness.